I believe that the continuing violence, the continuing practices of untouchability against the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes are based in a cultural pattern which believes or believes that the caste system is an intrinsic part of Indian society and that is what we challenge. Unfortunately, those forces who talk in the name of social justice, in fact, they only tend to replicate the caste system in a different way. Therefore, the answer to this is threefold. One, to take very, very strong action against those who practice untouchability. Two, to ensure that there is economic empowerment at every level through a legal framework. It's not just a question of reservation of jobs being somebody's, you know, it, it's a constitutional right. And if there are huge gaps in it, that is because it is not being properly implemented. Why is it the private sector exempted from it? So the private sector must be brought into it. And economic empowerment, which includes land reform, as we did in West Bengal, as we have seen with the West Bengal experiment, that when you give land, when, you, when Dalits have assets, they have the strength to challenge the vested interests in the village, in the rural areas. And that is what is required. And thirdly, anybody, anybody speaking or committing any type of, of action against the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes, they have to be very strongly punished, I think. Those are the, the different aspects of it, and particularly as far as Dalit women are concerned.